Hi, this is Matt with State of Flex here with another Everyone's a Critic movie challenge. Uh, week six. The challenge is a film with subtitles. The movie Memories of Murder. Year release 2003, aspect ratio 1851, runtime 2 hours and 12 minutes, genre crime, true crime nonetheless. Uh, rated, it's not rated, uh, but it would probably get the R rating. It has the F bombs, it has the violence, it has the nudity, um, though not much. It, it's relatively tasteful for being a horrible film about like rape and stuff like that. Uh, starring, uh, I'm gonna like decimate these. It's Kang Ho Song, Kim Sang Kailung, Ro Ha Kim, J Ho Song, Bayun Hee Bong. Uh, directed by Bong Joon Ho. Produced, uh, my copy is produced by Neon. I think that was the uh, United States distributor. Currently, it's a Criterion release. Um, written by Bong Joon Ho and Sung Bo Shim, uh, based on the play by Kwang Rim Kim. Uh, music by Taro Washiro. Uh, it was the winner of 31 awards. Um, none of them are like major, like stateside awards. Uh, but uh, like the Busan Film Festival, uh, as well as the Korean Critics Awards, it won. Uh, this is a Korean film. Um, why did you choose this particular film? Uh, I'm a fan of the filmmaker. I've seen uh, two of his other movies, The Host and Parasite. Uh, I think Bong Joon-ho is a phenomenal filmmaker. I've heard very, very good things about Mother, as well as obviously Snowpiercer, which I own. I have yet to watch. I will watch that if you're watching Brad, I promise. Um, uh, I chose to watch this one because uh, I actually got this for my birthday uh, this past year, um, just based on me liking the filmmaker. Um, never had a chance to watch it because it is just a touch on the long side. Um, but uh, this gave me the perfect opportunity to do so. So here we are. Have I seen this movie before? No, no, I have not. Uh, and I was excited to see. Would I recommend this film? Why or why not? Absolutely! This movie is fantastic. It's a slow burn. The first hour especially is very, very slow. It takes its time. It immerses you in this world. Um, but what unfolds is... Um, well, what's this movie about? This movie is about um, the first sort of documented serial killer uh, in South Korea. Um, he... Uh, uh, it's set in 1986, and uh, you uncover this uh, murder very early on, um, and then it appears to be a pattern killer. And uh, you're following these police officers that are 100% ill-equipped to handle a situation like this. Um, their forms are of interrogation, it's these two cops, the, their forms of interrogation, one of them, stares the person dead in the eye, just absolutely straight dead in the camera, and sees if, by looking into their eye, they did it or not. That's his form of interrogation. The other person's form of interrogation, uh, when that doesn't work, uh, is to put a little sock over his uh, shoe and just go kicking the people repeatedly, uh, just through violent action until they get them to confess. Well, that doesn't seem to be working for this case. Too many people are confessing, and the, yet the murder is still happening. So they get somebody from Seoul to come and help with uh, the investigation. But even he is ill-equipped to deal with anything like this, even though his uh, methods are much more conventional by our standards. Um, and you follow this darkly humorous uh, sort of takedown of uh, police inefficiency, uh, as well as... Um, try to unwrap this murder. Uh, if you want to compare this film to anything, it would be uh, like, he had to have seen this movie before he made his movie, and that would be David Fincher's Zodiac. Zodiac, after watching this, feels like it's a parallel film. Like, it's it, he just lifted all of the same principles that uh, Bong Joon-ho's film here operated under, and uh, made the epic masterpiece that is Zodiac. Um, and then uh, there's a, another little moment 
uh, a couple of moments. Whenever the, the person is, uh, the interrogator is staring into the camera and stuff, you get like the, the feels of um, uh, what Jonathan Demi was doing with uh, um, Silence of the Lambs. Uh, using that film technique, but apparently that's, that wasn't it. Uh, in uh, reading up on this movie, Bong Joon-ho did that very deliberately because he figured, uh, being that this was at the time an unsolved crime, that the killer quite probably would be watching this movie at some point, and he wanted to let the killer know that the investigator was staring him down. Um, which I thought was kind of brilliant uh, upon learning about that. Um, but either way you cut it, it, it's excellent use of the filmic language. Uh, so yes, I would recommend this movie. Um, let me just zip this up on ahead. Uh, which character were you most able to identify with or connect with and in what way? I, I wouldn't say I identified or connected with anybody in this film per se, but I did enjoy the uh, kicking interrogator and how he was used for a uh, comedic effect until the reality of what he is doing is kind of like thrust in front of you and uh, police brutality and all that. And I, I like uh, the comeuppance that his character uh, kind of earns. Uh, it's uh, beautifully poetic. Um, best line or memorable quote? Uh, I think the last one of uh, what did he look like and the little girl saying just kind of ordinary. Um, that kind of stuck with me and how uh, going back, uh, her whole little thing about seeing the, the guy go back to the crime um, really stuck with me. Uh, were you surprised by the ending? I absolutely thought we were going to get uh, a reveal to the whodunit, and I was a little uh, surprised that we didn't get that. What would I do differently? I, I don't know that I would. I really liked how this film culminates. Uh, it's quite strong. How important is it to you to watch a film in its native language? So here's the thing. I uh, love foreign films. I, I watch many of them. Um, but the first time I watch a movie, I like to watch it, uh, even if it's a foreign film, I like to watch it dubbed rather than subtitled. Because when I'm watching it dubbed, I can see every aspect of the movie. A movie is intended to uh, be shown as well as listen to uh, ling uh, language, and dialogue is oftentimes very deliberate, and um, all aspects of the film are meant to be presented to you um, sort of all at once. And I find that for me personally, because I'm a slow reader and whatnot, when I'm reading subtitle, I, t I tend to lose a lot of the, the visual language of the film. I did do the assignment correctly here. Uh, I watched it exclusively in, uh, uh, in its native language with subtitles. Um, but oftentimes with second viewings, then I'll go through and do the subtitled version uh, thereafter. Um, do you feel subtitles lessen the overall movie watching experience? I don't think it lessens it, but like I said, visual component to filmmaking is probably the first and foremost the most uh, powerful method that the, a film uses. Um, otherwise you'd be listening to a podcast or a radio drama or reading a book. Um, so uh, I do love that we get subtitled films because it immerses us into uh, worlds completely alien from our own. As similar as uh, this film is to like crime movies of the United States, it is also is very, very different. Culturally, um, things are, are different. I, I think exposure to other cultures and stuff uh, through the medium of film is incredibly, incredibly powerful and strong and worth uh, immersing yourself in. But, since you are watching a movie, I think, as I say, the first time around, I like to watch things dubbed just so I can be fully immersed into that experience. Seeing lips that don't match never really bothered me. I grew up watching Godzilla. I'm used to that. Um, and I will say that um, I'm, I'm going to pluck an example from my uh, life. My wife has been watching a lot of these movies that I've been doing for this as well, and she was kind of disinterested in doing this one just because you have to be in the mood to read a movie. Um, and she wasn't necessarily when this assignment came up, so. Um, 
there you have. Uh, anything else I would like to add? This is a fantastic movie. I'd give it uh, insanely strong three and a half out of four stars. Um, go out, check, uh, check this film out. I do think it's streaming on uh, HBO Max because they still have their licensing agreement with uh, Criterion. Um, or pick up the Criterion copy of this movie yourself. It, it is fantastic. You will enjoy it. Uh, it's good, especially if you like true crime thrillers and all that kind of stuff. And just the, the visual language of the film is fantastic. Uh, this scene specifically and how it parallels with the very first shot of the movie uh, is really quite strong. Uh, so check out this uh, fantastic, weird story. Um, that's all I'll end with today. Uh, next week's challenge, week seven challenge, is a stop motion film. Well, that sucks. If I would have known that, I just watched a stop motion film. Um, if you have any recommendations uh, on a stop motion movie, uh, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Uh, please don't say Nightmare Before Christmas, because no. Um, but if you have any other recommendations, uh, I will definitely uh, consider them. Uh, thanks for watching, and peace.